Okay. Anong pag-uusapan natin, Doctor? Actually, yun, pag-uusapan natin yung tinatawag na a vascular necrosis of the hip. O, ay, nosebleed. Oo nga. Vascular <laughs> necrosis <laughs> of the hip. Yung Doctor Lehman's You know, the, the inspire ako dito because last week or two weeks ago, ay isa sa mga kapatid natin dito lumapit kasi sumasakit yung balakang niya. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, when we I saw the x-ray, nakita ko nga, lusaw na yung ulo nung hip joint yung niya. Yung hip joint. Oo. Oh. Oh. And he's young pa, no? Naku, I hope hindi, mag, hindi siya magalit. Anyway, so, um, and, and what, the condition is called a vascular necrosis. Kung saan, dahil, wait, as, kung hihiwalay, himayin mo yung word, no? A vascular. A vascular means walang blood supply. Okay. Necrosis means nabulok. So, technically, yung ulo ng ating hip joint or any, it can involve the the shoulder or the hip or even the knee, no? Or even the spine. What happens is that the head, yung buto ng, ng joint natin, ay lumambot dahil nawalan siya ng blood supply. Okay. So, the next question is, bakit siya nawalan ng blood supply? So, if you look at the blood supply of the hip, no? Marami dyan dun sa tinatawag nating femoral neck at sa base ng femoral neck dito yan. So, and the whole head is being supplied by this blood yes. vessel. What happens is that the blood vessel becomes compromised. So, napuputol yan. So, ito nasisira. So, you end up with a head that is not very round. So, masakit pagka inapak mo ngayon. Diba? So, different causes such as trauma. Let's say na fracture or na dislocate yung hip ng patient. Yan, madidisrupt yung blood supply natin. And it can lead to that. Chronic steroid intake also has been seen to be a big culprit, no? wherein 30% of the patients will encounter this one. So, pag uminom tayo ng steroids, masisira din. Yung, hindi pa nakikita kung ano yung direct impact, but it seems to be something with the metabolism. So, nababara yung blood vessels natin. Um, high alcohol intake also. Kasi lumiliit yung blood vessels kaya nangyayari na compromise yung blood supply ng hip natin. Um, and other systemic diseases, no? Such as HIV and so on and so forth. But in, in most commonly, what we see is that patients who've had a history of steroid uh, exposure. Yes. So whether meron tayong, halimbawa, nag, nagkasakit katulad ng mga, uh, sabi natin, ankylosing spondylitis and they have to give steroids to control the inflammation, ayun, nak nangyayari, isa sa mga complications no, or side effect ng medication that they had to take is a vascular necrosis. So, ang symptom niya you, is pain. No? Una yan, masakit, lalo na pag naglalakad, no, when you start weight bearing, very much like arthritis. No? And it, obviously, it progresses and to the point na mahirap umupo kasi kahit yung pagtayo natin, no, um, masakit pagka nilalagyan mo ng bigat. So, sa una, of course, para madiagnose ito, we, the most sensitive study actually is an MRI. Ah, okay. So, an for the X-ray will not see this. The X-ray will, will already, will, will show X-ray changes when a significant amount of the head is already okay. involved. So, as you can see here, no, the portion of the head, no, unti-unti siyang nade-deform. So, bago siya makita sa X-ray, matagal. So, una siyang nakikita sa MRI. So, sa MRI, makikita natin na yung alin yung mga portion of the head is devascularized o walang blood supply. Kasi usual, una, bilog pa yung ulo eh. And eventually, as it is flattening, then you can see it now in the X-ray. So, pag meron na tayong X-ray changes, mga stage 2 na yung avascular necrosis natin. So, Doc, And, yes. anong ginagawa natin kapag kunwari meron tayong mga necrosis na ganyan? Anong mga kailangan gawin? So, yeah. So, for the treatment, no? Treatment-wise, well, uh, surgical talaga surgical siya. Surgical na kagad. Kasi ang, lalo na kung stage 1 mo lang siya nakuha, mas gusto mo kasing ma, ano eh, ma, what you call this, ma decompress yung hip joint kasi inflamed din siya. So gusto mo i-decompress para in that attempt to revascularize no, the, the head. Yung tawag namin dyan, core decompression. That is for stage 1. But as the more and more of the femoral head is involved mm -hmm. at masyado na siyang deformed. Yeah. Hindi na kaya ng core decompression yan. So, nangyayari, um, 
hip replacement It's is an option. Replacement so, for decompression, pwede tayo maglagay ng vascularized bone graft inside to revascularize. Um, these are usually for the early stages. But for the ones wherein we have a very big deformation already, then a hip replacement would be the best option. Pag, pag sinasabi mo early stages, you we are thinking that you can again revive the blood yes, vessels. Yes, yes. Abs ah. Assuming maganda pa yung forma ng ulo, no? okay. hindi pa ganun kala massive yung, yung destruction. Oo. Uh -huh. So, pwede mo pa siyang, kumbaga, pwede mo pang lagyan ng bigat yung ulo nang hindi ka natatakot na magka-crumble siya. How do you now revive the blood vessels? Paano mo bubuhayin so, ulit? When you do a core decompression, parang nagbubutas kami sa loob eh, para nadidecompress nga. Mm -hmm. Kaya yung tawag nila decompress. So, with pag natanggal yung extra pressure, kasi nga, yung reaction is magkakaroon ng increased pressure also in the hip joint. So, ma-vascularize. Yung isa mm. naman is you harvest your bone graft, let's mm. say yung fibula sa, sa leg natin, together with the blood supply, tapos ididikit mo sa main blood supply, tapos papasok mo yung buto dun sa loob ng femoral head. Yun yung vascularized uh, fibular graft. What can we do uh, to prevent itong uh, avascular well, kaya, necrosis? Kaya important yung, ano eh, yung, halimbawa, steroid intake. Kasi yan talaga yung nakikita nating notorious. Um, ay, yung mga nagbabodybuild. And yung then mga they will, ng katawan. Yes, mga protein, protein shake, ganyan. Always check the contents because it may Pag contain sobra. steroids. Yeah. And we're not aware and we take it and that will happen. Of course, there are certain conditions wherein you cannot avoid taking that, such as severe al allergies, asthma, cancer. Then you really have to take those, no? And with that, monitor. Huh. Kasama na dun yung monitoring, binabantayan yung mga pwedeng mag ma apekto ng na buto katulad ng balakang. But yun lang, yung mga sinabi ng kapitbahay mo na uminom ka netong prednisone, yan, that's steroid. So, don't, don't self-medicate. Mm. Tapos, yung other factors natin nga, of course, kung mabalian, important talaga yung ma maayos ka agad, huwag ma-neglect yung fractures, no? Para ma hindi ma-disrupt yung blood supply. Do, kung hindi agad siya ma-treat, can it lead to yung mga cancer of the bones? No, no, so, it will not lead to the not. cancer of the bone. It will not lead to an infection. Te technically, ang mangyari lang, nalulusaw nang nalulusaw yung buto, kaya nangyayari, masakit siya pag inaapak. So, mapapansin natin na pagka naglalakad, parang limping na yung gait, kailangan niya mag -gain. Minsan din, nag-shorten yung leg length eh. Uh -huh. Kasi uh -huh. dahil sirang-sira na siya, aangat ngayon yung yeah. leg. Kasi wala to na yung height ng ulo. Two questions, no? Yeah. Let's say, kung ma-revive nga yung blood vessels, yung yung original uh, form ng uh, hip bone babalik hindi rin kasi kaya may... yung yun yung isa sa mga mag dapat san dapat na isa sa mga requirements natin maganda pa yung shape ng head hmm. kaya early stage ah, na dapat so it not not necessarily na babalik siya sa original oh so kung medyo halos stage 2 pa lang short maliit na flattening pa maaring hindi maaring babalik Mm -hmm. yung height. Pero kasing ayaw mo yung further mag-collapse. Yes, Yun yes. yung ayaw natin. Kaya mo sinestrut sa loob eh. Uh -oh. Parang lalagyan mo ng kalso para hindi siya magko-collapse into that. Tapos pag tumatanda, lalong nangyayari ito when as age no. progresses. Hindi. No. If you know, look at the risk also, factors, uh, hindi age yung age. Sinabi, sinabi natin. Uh -huh. It's more on other factors yes. aside from age. Yung sa mga kwan sa arthritis. Yung arthritis. sinasabi mo ko. Uh -huh. okay. Mamaya na yung man. consultation mo <laughs> na <yun. laughs> Salamat, Dr. Pebble. Sayo, no problem. Thank you, Dr. No. <laughs>